Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslo here. And so you're mining, right? And you keep getting stale or even rejected or invalid shares. And I mean, what's the deal with that, right? So that's what we're going to talk about today. So I've actually even got notes today to make sure I don't misspeak and that I cover everything. It's going to be a pretty short video, hopefully. And we're going to cover a total of six things. And what we're going to talk about is what are stale shares? What causes stale shares? How do you reduce stale shares? What are invalid or rejected shares? What causes them? And how can you reduce them? So let's jump right into it with what are stale shares? So basically a stale share is when you've submitted a share to the pool when the pool has already moved on to the next block. So the block for which you submitted a share for has already been solved and the pool has moved on. It's not worrying about that old block anymore, right? And so this means that like, you can't 100% avoid stale shares, but they shouldn't be more than maybe like one to 2% of all of your shares. If it's more than that, then you might be having some sort of issue. All right, so what actually causes stale shares? Mainly, this is caused by latency in the network between the mining pool and your mining rig. And that's because when the pool finds a new block, it needs to send new shares out to all of the miners on that pool. So there will always be a bit of time between the pool finding a new block and after finding that block, you receiving the new share for that new block. So there's a little bit of time in between there. And if your mining rig happens to submit a share in that little time period, that share it submitted will be stale. All right, so let's say that you're getting lots of stale shares. How can you reduce them? Well, the main way to reduce stale shares is to improve the network connection between your mining rig and the pool. So to do this, first off, make sure that you have a good and reliable internet connection in your rig. So that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a very fast internet connection, but it has to be like stable. And that is why it is usually recommended to have your mining rig connected over ethernet rather than over Wi-Fi. And secondly, make sure that you're mining to a pool that has a server that is physically close to you and that you're actually set up to mine to that server because a lot of pools actually have multiple servers. So you need to pick which one you're mining to within your mining software. And lastly, the final way that you can probably reduce the percentage of stale shares you're getting is just to increase your hash rate. And the reason for this is if your rig is able to solve shares faster, that means it's gonna check for new shares more often, which means that window in which you can accidentally submit a stale share will be reduced. All right, so if this has been helpful so far, why don't you give the video one of these and we'll move on to talking about invalid shares. So what are invalid shares? Well, invalid shares, they're also referred to as rejected shares or even incorrect shares. And basically, these are shares that you've submitted to the pool that were miscalculated by your mining rig. So essentially, the pool gave you a share for you to solve, and the solution that you submitted for that share to the pool was incorrect. All right, so what causes invalid shares? Well, I would say that in like 99.9% .9 of the time that you're getting invalid shares, it is because your overclockings are just pushing your GPUs a little bit too hard. However, they can also be caused by software bugs in your mining software or actual like physical hardware issues within your mining rig. Right, so how do we reduce the amount of rejected shares we're getting? Right, so if you're getting, you know, the odd rejected share here and there, one a day or something like that, I wouldn't worry too much about it, you know, like, it, it happens to the best of us, you know, but if you're getting more than that, these are some things you can look at to try and reduce them or even get rid of them completely. So the first and easiest and most probable, you know, thing to do is to just like reduce your overclocks a little bit because that is probably what is causing it. 
and it's really simple to do. You know, just reduce your overclocks a little bit and see if that fixes it. So another trick to reduce rejected shares that some people have had success with is to start up your miner and then wait until the mining software has generated the DAG file before applying your overclock settings. So you know when you first start up your mining software, the very first thing it always does is generate the DAG file for your cards. So you wait until that's finished and it actually starts mining and then you apply your overclock settings. Some people have seen a massive reduction in rejected shares by doing it that way. So if you've tried both those things and you've got your cards like not even overclocked at all and you're still getting, you know, a good amount of rejected invalid shares, then it might be a good idea to look at other things. So what I would do first is just, just see if there's an update available for your mining software or even try a different mining software altogether. And if that doesn't fix it either, you might have actual hardware issue to deal with. You know, unfortunately, you might be dealing with a faulty GPU. However, I will say that is very rarely the case and it's probably not that. So don't, don't freak out. It's probably just your overclock settings. All right, but what you need to do now is you need to click the video that's on the screen because this video is over and I guess you can also click on my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. And yeah, just click that video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Goodbye.